I adored Paris. I adore it. I just adore it. I was born in Paris. Did I tell you that? And you don't get born in Paris to forget about clothes for five minutes. I was always going there for my clothes. I was mad about clothes and makeup and everything. Oh, I used to stay at this ghastly hotel in the Boulevard Houseman. I'd spend my days at fittings. I used to fit my nightgowns. I had three fittings on a nightgown. Can you imagine? People would say, what in the world are you doing that for? Because that's the way you got a nightgown. Too beautiful. You ought to have seen the materials, the different, different weights, the different fabrics, the different types of crepe, of satin, the different colors, greige. A combination of gray and beige that you never see today. And the lace the way they were put together. It was a whole life. The life of fashion was very strenuous. I'd fit all afternoon. Very strenuous. <laughs> very strenuous, no question about it. And the shoes, gloves made to order, hats by Susie and Rabu. I don't know how to shop in America. Bloomingdale's is the end of shopping because there's no one to wait on you. You just sort of admire things. You see a man, you think he's a floor walker. I'm sorry, lady, I can't help you. I'm just like you, I'm looking for someone to help me. You go out into the street with tears in your eyes. You've accomplished nothing and you've lost your health. Swifty, you old trout. How the hell are you? I'm back. <laughs> yeah, well, better here than on the Titanic. Oh, I had a hell of a good time. London, Milano, Madrid, Paris. The New York Post. Yes, I heard. Well, you're only the hundredth person to tell me. No, and I don't intend to. I never read that rag. Listen, Swifty, why don't you stop by this evening? I'm having some people over. Do you know a fellow named Gumbenkian? Right, new bar Gumbenkian. What's so funny? Oily? Well, so what if he's oily? He's loaded. Well, if you think it's so terrible, why don't you come up with something? A book deal. A book about me. What do you mean it won't sell? Don't doll face me. Forget it. Forget it! <laughs> All right, kiddo. Try to come by this evening. You know we'd adore to see you. <laughs> Swifty Mazar is bald, one foot tall, a terrible man, and I just like him very much. Reed Vreeland had fantastic glamour for me, and he always retained it. Even after more than 40 years of marriage, I was always slightly shy of him. I remember his coming home in the evening, the way the door would close, the sound of his step. And if I was in my bath or in my bedroom making up, I remember pulling myself up and thinking, I must be at my very best. There was never a time when I didn't have that reaction. Ever. 